Hello and welcome to my little tutorial in IGK um, just really to tell you how to try and keep your speed up in games because a lot of people s seem to struggle with that I mean it's, it's, it's always the way with games programming speed is an issue um, but IGK itself is pretty quick um, so I, I don't know why people run into massive speed issues um, early on which a lot of people do but I can, I can probably put it down to a couple of things so I've done this little tiny program here, it's not just that, there's there's some more down here if I can actually scroll it. Um, but this is just to show you, so basically option 1 is the first sort of way that most people would be probably loading up sprites and, and displaying them. Let's, let's run that. Right, that's loaded. It's got quite a few sprites. Um, it should be 1024 sprites all sitting there rotating very badly because of the size of the screen if I maximize it a minute it goes a little better it's smooth at last you can see it's it's going 114 frames per second 115 there well, it's creeping up um, and that's that's okay but it's not particularly you know brilliant if you're doing a game engine and you, you're sort of already down to 100 frames per second just with your sprites on screen. Now, fair enough, you're not likely to have that many sprites on screen because that's a lot, this is just a test. Um, but you know, you can see it's not very good. Um, and I've got here draw time and the draw time setup and the loading time just to how long it actually takes to load and generate these sprites initially. Um, you'll see I've got 1024 sprites on screen and it's keeping up reasonably well but mm, yeah you start adding more in it's gonna die very quickly so we'll close that uh, and we'll get out of option one we'll go to option two right now you can see all of a sudden up to 478 or you know it, it probably creep to about 500 frames per second um, and we're getting a lot better speeds the load times a bit different, I don't know if it was slower or faster it should have been, it should be faster but it doesn't look it from there but that's when you're talking tiny speeds like that it can fluctuate quite badly but that should have been faster but like I say it doesn't look it um, but it's definitely running faster and it's still got so many sprites on screen doing exactly the same except it's smoother now and then we've got option 3 which is basically just a tiny bit optimised well it's hardly going to make a difference to that I might get a tiny bit extra on the rubble 500 frames per second there 520 so we've got up a bit further. Maximize that again. So that's the smoothest, fastest option possible. Still got exactly the same amount of sprites. It's just optimized better. And that is slightly faster than before, but you know, it was 0.36 before, that's slightly faster. Right, so how do I do that? What how you know what is the difference between option one, two and three? Okay, well, if we go to option one I'll we'll say I'm going through two do loops or four next loops, sorry, uh, and creating all the sprites, loading all the images, setting a random course so you can see because the images just got nothing on it at the moment. I haven't bothered putting anything on it. I'll just put an image so you could actually use images. Um, it's pretty standard code, and it positions them according to where it is in the x y loops, um, and that goes slow as you can tell. Uh, the main loop is that which basically just adds an angle up sets it to the angle and resets and shows the text that tells you how fast it goes and that's where it sets it up. Got option 2 and option 3 and debug. Now I've took out a couple of things here because I didn't think I needed them but we want that one back in. Okay so now we're back to option one. Let's run it again. Lardy D. 
it's a lot slower when it's capturing, I'll tell you. Right, back down to, oh my god, 100 frames per second, that's useless, useless. But now we've put draw calls back up, you can see it's matching the number of sprites. Now draw calls are fairly important to keep your speed up. If you're doing 1024 draw calls, that's slowing you down, as you can see, it's seriously slowing it down. The only difference I've made in option 2 is I've optimised that so it doesn't use all those draw calls. So here we go, and you can see draw calls 1. That's a little bit better. It's fairly you know, optimised. Um, and you can see the speed is there. Speed is up by buckets. And option three goes quicker again for other reasons. So we go to option two, and you'll see I've changed it a little bit. So I'm loading the image once, and then I'm making the image, and I'm basically assigning the same image to each sprite. But because you'd say, "Oh, what use is that? It, you know, that's no good. Kind of the same image on each sprite. That'll be the same. That's fair enough. They will. But I'm setting the sprite animation." Um, so, so it actually splits that image up into little 32 by 32 pixel images and uses each one as a frame. So imagine you've got a 1024 by 1024 image and out of that 1024 it's cutting it into segments of 32 and just using each one of those as a frame. The first one's just a small 32 by 32 image which is basically the same thing. So you've got one image and you're tiling it up and using that for your, your images. So you can have lots of different frames, it keeps the draw count down, which is major for speed, it really makes a difference, and that will basically keep your games flowing. You can do it with most things, you might have to use a couple more than one image, and each image you use will increase your draw calls. But it does, that is the way to speed it up, and it's, you know, this little bit of a code I've done here is a simple way to demonstrate it. Now, option three that goes a bit quicker. Um, you, you can sort of ignore most of this code. You could do it exactly the same here, but just put set sprite transparency to zero. Now, if you don't need it to have any sort of transparency at all, and I mean at all, uh, um, that's fine. If you need transparency, then you can't use that. That's not going to make a difference because obviously most sprites tend to need a transparency layer. But for background tiles that are going to be walked on top of, and they don't need to segment in any way and have little gaps that are sort of transparent, then you, you can use that and it speeds things up quite a bit. Um, and just to prove it, I'll run it again. With the third one. There we go, and it's it's shooting over 500 frames per second there, so, you, what, 20, 20 frames per second or so extra with this? It does make a difference, you know, it makes less of a difference when you get less sprites, but, you know, it's all optimization, so that's basically the fastest you're going to get. Still one draw call, um, and obviously your draw setup time and your draw time make a difference as well, but you can't do a lot about that, you know, that's, that's just how it's going to be. Um, but obviously that is controlled if you had less sprites that would be reduced massively um, less if they weren't all on screen that would be reduced massively and obviously the draw time would be reduced slightly as well but that's not as important that's that's more important generally um, but I think that's about it really um, I'll just scroll it all down so you can see all the code I'll probably include it to be honest as a file if, if anyone wants it but basically it's a simple premise. Use one image per sprite if you can. Try to use that image as many times for as many sprites as you can. You know, if you've got eight characters and you can get away with using one image for all the frames and just tiling the image up so you can use each frame, um, that will run a lot faster than using eight images for eight people, eight sprites. Um, and that's it, I think. I'm pretty certain. I don't think you really need to go into any more detail about this card. That's my debug bit. Um, just basically calls all the uh, 
automatic commands in our GK to get all the timings and I'm just doing a bit of an average calculation on them so I can see them easier and printing them out so that's it and I'll catch you later